Hi everybody! Just wanted to make a quick video. Guess where I was today? <laughs> I was in Hobby Lobby and I walked out with, uh, uh, let's see, three bags from Hobby Lobby. $150 later, I bought like, and I was in Michael's too and I bought a couple of things in there. But then I said to myself, I better go look and see what they have in, um, in Hobby Lobby. I wasn't that crazy about Michael's, I hate to say, but... In Michael's, I wound up getting this really cute box that I want to alter for a gift for somebody. I got some beads, and I got some sparkles. I want to do some uh, pink holiday ornaments uh, soon. And I got this ribbon for a project I'm working on. Not that I needed it, because I have an unbelievable amount of ribbon. <laughs> and, and then I really fell in love with this paper. I was loving this. I mean, this is like almost like a shabby, chic... Halloween kind of, you know, harvesty like um, nice paper. So I was thinking of doing some paper projects um, that maybe for the fall and like pinks and yellows and oranges. We'll see. Um, then when I was in Hobby Lobby, I got some of these pumpkins. Um, I do the harvest uh, decor on uh, for fall. Uh, last year I did a lot of it and the year before and probably every year I, I had done some type of uh, you know pumpkin situation uh, so I'm, I'm going to be making stackable pumpkins and last year at the end of the season I bought almost the same pumpkin so I know I have bunch of those somewhere so right now, I'm in my living room slash dining room, sitting on the floor, if you can tell. So this is like an idea that I had, that I've been doing. Um, I bought a candlestick, and then like I take the stems off, and um, I kind of stack those up, and then I, I decorate them. They look really super pretty. I also bought these three planters for my backyard. Um, I'm going to put them like in a holder, and... Uh, you know, it'll be kind of like rustic looking when I get finished with that, with them. Um, no ribbon or anything. It'll just be simple. Then I got this in Hobby Lobby. Really cute uh, for uh, fall ornaments that I'll be making. Uh, a lot of times I do uh, settings for people for Thanksgiving place settings. But these are really cute little cones and little tiny, teeny, tiny pumpkins. And then I found these really cute. They're already stacked. Um, so I got two of those. I'm going to make a gift for someone. And these really nice uh, candlesticks, which um, I do enjoy. And when I saw the size of this, I was just cracking up laughing. Um, I was like, this is so cute. I'm going to decorate it as if it was a really big one. I have to use like uh, E6000 glue on that, and it won't go anywhere. And then I'll do some flowers in there and ribbon and all kinds of doodads. And I'll share that with you all at, at some point in time. Uh, and then I thought this was really worth it. This was $5.99 for all of these beads. And take off 40%. So for $3 and change, I got a bunch of raw beads on a string. I can use these Christmas time. I can take them all off of here and use them. So, so many ideas for that. And then... Okay, I got this also. Let me just show you. These are from Hobby Lobby. These really pretty napkins for fall. And, you know, I have company from time to time. So just if it's a simple company like, you know, like a small lunch or just coffee and cake or whatever. I bought these really cool um, plates also. And these are really cute, the napkins and... And the orange, very heavy-duty plastic plates. And they were all 40% off, so it really didn't cost much at all. What else did I get? I know I'm missing something. I know I bought hot glue and... Uh, fa Here it is. Fabri-Tac, another one. I didn't need it, but I was there, and I figured, let me just get it. And I bought another thing, a Gorilla Glue. And I don't always use the Gorilla Glue, like when I make my flowers and stuff. Um, but I do use this for heavy-duty crafts like I'm about to do with the wooden plastic along with the E6000. This was from Michael's. So pretty. And I just thought that I'm going to break those up and use them in between my uh, 
my um, pumpkin situation here and I'll, it'll look very pretty. I'm going to share that with you and show you how it looks when it's finished. And then I got this really beautiful uh, bouquet of like big dark burnt orange and rust and some yellow in there. Really beautiful. This was $29.99. Their prices are through the roof, but their flowers are unbelievable. I mean, very different. Michael's does not have that. And uh, it was 40% off also. They both have 40% off. I'm sure they're in competition. This is also from Hobby Lobby, Little Tiny Daisies. I can certainly make these, but when I'm doing mass production on pumpkins and lots of things for fall i need to have these already made and i just don't care uh, my flowers are for something totally different uh projects that i make um i i'm not doing that for so this is you know i mean i don't make flowers like this i love these filler accents very pretty sprays love it and then i just got this other one here which is like a really huge peony type thing really beautiful I, I loved it um you know in between i don't need a new centerpiece for my my house with flowers i already have that I, i'm just thinking of changing it up like maybe all candles this year you know battery operated candles and that's it you guys just wanted to make a little video and show you what i did today i had so much fun i was in hobby lobby for about two hours and Michael's for about 45 minutes. I wasn't really crazy about what they had. Um, and this I can't wait to work with. So tomorrow is Sunday and it's play day for me. Okay, have a good one everyone. Bye.